Carol Sletner of the Rosso Police Department out at National Night Out events and activities. I'm here with um, one of, I'm one of her biggest fans. This is Mrs. Marianne Hess and she has been a strong supporter of the police department for many, many years. She and her late husband, Roger. So I specifically wanted to come out to the party today where Marianne was going to be because number one, I wanted to meet her and the second thing I wanted to do was to thank her for all of the nice letters and, and appreciative um, comments and cards and uh, all the support that she and her husband and her family have given us. So it's great to be able to finally meet you. It's wonderful meeting you. What do you like most about living in the city of Roseville? The people are very extremely friendly, very concerned about the welfare of Roseville citizens, and we appreciate that. One of the first things I noticed when I began working here for the city was Mr. and Mrs. Hess's, um, I guess you would call it industrial building, called Hess's Hair Milk. Can you tell us a little bit about that history? Hess Hair Milk, well, they were uh, wholesale manufacturers and distributors of their own products, and anything that was available in barber and beauty shops, they sold to the uh, jobbers, who in turn sell to the individual shops. There have been occasions where we've called on the police department in Roseville, and they've always responded beautifully. Uh, years ago, we, we, we relied on them to, with their ambulance service and everything, and still to this day, when the occasion arises, which in the last five years with my husband's health issues, it was necessary to call at odd times. Everybody, I hope everyone has a great um, national night out and please stay safe and remember to wear your seatbelt. It's the law. Captain Rick Mathwick at the Roseville Police Department and I've been with Roseville about 21 years and National Nano is a great opportunity for the neighbors to get together, come out on the street and I was just at a party just down the block that talked about he had been in the neighborhood for about 30 years and this is the first time he'd seen some of his neighbors and he was great, uh, quite gregarious in his personality and he was meeting everybody in, in the neighborhood and that was a great thing. It's just an example to show that people can live just down the street from each other but unless they get the opportunity to come out and talk and meet and and drink some uh, Kool-Aid and things like that. It's a great time for people to meet each other. And that's really what we're looking for in law enforcement is neighbors to get together, know what goes on in their neighborhood, knows what cars belong in the neighborhood, they know who belongs in the neighborhood, who doesn't belong. And we solved a lot of crimes with just the neighbors getting together and saying, hey, that guy doesn't belong in my neighborhood. He's walking up to the house and they've called us and we've intercepted a lot of burglars that way just in the last several years. And so National Line Out is a great opportunity for people to get out and talk to each other. And Outback Steakhouse for the last several years has, has, has offered to provide food at, at the one block party in Roseville. And that's been a great opportunity for them to get out to meet some neighbors and get together because people lead busy lives. They just need an excuse to get back out. And if they don't have time to prepare something, Outback Steakhouse does a great job of providing it for them. All right, uh, my name is Aaron Johnson. I've been a proprietor with uh, Outback Steakhouse in Roseville for about two and a half years. been with Outback for almost nine. Uh, just looking forward, you know, another great national night out. Good way to give back to the community that helps uh, support and keep my business here and working through these times. I uh, also want to mention we have a great new menu offering 15 items under $15. So stop on in and check us out. So for the last several years that's been done and this neighborhood they had a drawing. What we do is we, in the police department, we get all the applications that come in early and we have a blind drawing and uh, Jerry, the neighbor in this, in this block, is the one who came out on top and he got Outback Steakhouse to come and uh, supply food for his party. So everybody back behind me is having a great time. Um, some people are probably just meeting for the first time. Some people may have been friends for many years. But again, it's a great time to come out and say hello to each other. Thanks for 
And we want to say woohoo for National Night Out. Woohoo! I just want to thank the Roseville community for coming out and celebrating with us tonight. We've got a gorgeous night tonight, beautiful national night out. Um, it's been an excellent experience this evening. We've got together with several groups who are celebrating and uh, using this opportunity to get to know your neighbors and get to know one another, uh, work with the police department and other public safety uh, personnel who are out and about tonight and working to eliminate and prevent crime that's going on on our streets and we're just thrilled we're thrilled to have everyone out here celebrating so thank you oh. And again, I want to give a big thanks. I want to thank all the public safety personnel who have been out tonight making visits to all the parties. I want to thank our sponsors and all of the businesses, especially Target, who's been out here celebrating with us tonight. <laughs> and then I want to thank the community. It's you guys that make National Night Out happen. So thank you guys for coming out and having a party and hanging out with us. Woohoo!